Okay, this is gonna be a quick video. This is one of the big punchless jobs that I've been on pretty much most of February. This and another one. Go over all the things I've done to this place. First, this is a brand new vanity, brand new mirror, and brand new lights I installed. They had a little bit cheaper one than this. Of course, redid all the plumbing the new faucets that kick this backsplash here caulked everything had to cut everything into the uh, walls and the trim okay that was project one so the same the backsplash the mirror the light okay Next, there were two huge columns right here. They were just strictly decorative, but they were about 150 pounds a piece. They are bolted into the floor. In fact, you can actually see the outline of the base. There was one there, and there was one where this couch is. So once I pulled them out, had, of course, do the repair on the ceiling on both sides which still has to be sanded and painted, okay? Now, all the stuff that I, you know, all stuff that I removed from this house, they gave it to me, and I used a lot of it in a little house on the off-grid farm and also in my house, too, because the lights that they I got off this place was a lot nicer than, of course, obviously, the ones I had. Removed two big drop-down globe-style um, Lights, they're not here anymore. They just wanted these. Install that light there. And install this. Now, this was a pain in the butt because each individual light had to be all pre-wired in the housing. So every one of them had to be linked in. And then, of course, every one had to be cut to fit as far as the height drop they wanted them at there we go but they had a, a funky thing here is the one that I have actually installed in my house which of course a lot nicer than the one I had now project I'm on now which I just finished is there was no door here, okay? This is just an open archway going through. So, mounted the door. We cut, we ordered, special ordered this one here. There we go. And there were some problems. They, when they, uh, we ordered this door, they cut the hinges wrong. This one's way too high. This one here is not centered correctly on the door. You can see uh, the height difference. It should be more in here. And that one there should be much further down. And that one there is where it's supposed to be. So the customer has already called Lowe's and complained about that. I just installed the stops on this. Got that. Installed a little while ago. There we go. Nice and smooth. And they just wanted a barrier between that living room over there and the kitchen over here. I got my paint to match. This is Cashmere by Sherman Williams. And it does match. Now, the other problem they had, that they had a film coat on this, a plastic film coat. And what ended up happening is this, is that with the plastic film coat, when we took it off, the glue started pulling because they had the plastic underneath. It was sandwiched underneath the door frame when they assembled this thing from the factory. And you can see little bits of glue and some nastiness 
which I've got to take a, a razor blade and cut all this mess out. You can just see all the little stupid particles in there, see it? Yeah, I know you can see that, yeah. And it's just glue, it's because of when we were pulling the plastic, um, me and the homeowner, they actually, the, the plastic film that was on here, they just sprayed primer across everything. So when we started peeling the plastic off, man, we had crap all over the place flaking off. So she was upset about that too, the way the process of the way the store was manufactured. Of course, there was no instructions, nothing. So we just took a razor blade, cut the edge, and then we started peeling everything off. And, uh, it was just a mess. Now I gotta clean up all this glue and then paint everything and get that done. Plus two, hey guys, they also want me to put a handrail on the outside uh, of the door. There's a, it's like a breezeway area that it goes to another exit door and then there's no handrail there. And and the mother has said that she, she can't walk out of there without, you know, tripping. She just doesn't want to trip. So. That's another one that I've got, to, uh, another thing i got to build for him, too. I was on a, another huge punch list job uh, two weeks ago um, that I finished up. And then I was constantly popping back in over here uh, to finish out a lot of the work that I needed to do here, too. And, oh, yeah, also, too, put in that ceiling fan. Forgot about that. They had an old funky one, but that one there is a little bit more modern. So there you go. Nice, nice big punch list job over here in Bedford. But I also, yesterday I was at the my second industrial complex and I put in a huge bid, uh, almost $25,000. Now, whether or not that's going to get approved, I have no idea. It's got to go all the way up the uh, corporate ladder for approval because it's far larger bid than the, uh, the, the, the local manager, uh, the, the, you know, the, the on-site manager can approve, but he said, just let me run this thing up the uh, chain of command and let's see if we can get you an approval. So business is here. There's no doubt about it. And uh, grateful and thankful for it too. So yeah, I mean, I love these punch list jobs. They're great. I'd rather do these. And also, too, there's a possibility we're going to be getting snow tonight. Huh. Can you believe that? Yeah, ice and snow, inch to two inch. They don't know if the front's going to come through uh, a little further west and north. And if it does, but it looks like Wilmington, the coast, is going to get three to five inches. They're, they don't even know that either. So anyway, here we go again. A lot of fun. But there we go. Punchless work. I love it. And this came out nice, too. Homeowner said, yeah, it looks like it's always been here. Very tight lines. Very flush construction. No binding. Nothing. Fits just the way it's supposed to fit. Okay, guys. Love you. Have a great day. Leave those comments. Tom out of here. More punch list work in Raleigh.